Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing, Charles? Here today, man, what a busy day. Can you see how beautiful I am? I just got back from Bielgina, Republika Srpska. Uh, I was on the show Globalno with Boris Malagurski. Um, listen to this story, okay? Funny story. And what am I going to have to eat tonight anyway? I don't even know. I just walked in the door. I've got rice. i got... Oh, God damn it. I'm going to eat some tuna. For fuck's sakes. Jivali Svima. Oh, this is good. This is Nicola's. Nicola, thank you. Uh, listen to this story, okay? B Boris Melagurski is a filmmaker, if you don't know who he is. He did a couple wonderful things. Weight of Chains... If you haven't seen it, go to YouTube, look up Weight of Chains. Wonderful, eye-opening documentary in English language about the destruction of Yugoslavia and how Western powers were the reason it happened. Okay? <sighs> Anyhow, he invited me to go on his show. I met him once before. Really good guy. So he told me to meet him at this gas station right by Gazella Bridge, the green one, at 9.20 a.m. That's all he said. Boris, if you're watching this, brother, you didn't mention Bielina, my dear brother. I looked back through your Facebook message. You didn't mention it. So I get there. I was there on time. I took a 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. bus to Belgrade. I get over to that NIST gas station, the first gas station uh, over the Gazella Bridge, you know. I'm there waiting. He calls me. says, where are you? I walk down there. It's him and Tiago, Tiago Ferreira Fiera. A uh, wonderful guy from Brazil. Good friend of mine. I've known him for years here. He lives here. Speaks fluent Serbian. Wonderful person. I love the guy. But he makes me so jealous because he knows everything about Serbian language and it makes me feel stupid. Uh, but anyway, so we drive. We, we get into Boris's car. We're just talking and talking. And then we pull into a gas station because he wanted to get a sandwich. Boris had to get something to eat. So then me and Tiago are talking, and then he said something, Boris was saying something about Bielina, if I'd been to Bielina, right when he went to get a sandwich, and I thought, oh my God, I looked at my thing, I thought I had possibly brought my passport, because I have this little thing that I stick it in, but I didn't bring it with me, and I thought, oh fuck. And then I asked, I said, hey, is, are we going to be going through Novi Sad if we go this way to Bielina? And he said, no. So I get out and I go up to Boris. Boris is standing outside eating this sandwich. I said, Boris, my friend, we've got a problem. I said, I didn't bring my passport. And he says, that's okay. <laughs> and I thought, oh shit. I said, is, are we going to be going through that way? He said, no, it's way out of the way. It's going to take us about an hour to get over there. And then it's going to throw us off an hour. We're going to be late. I said, oh shit, I'm so sorry. So Boris, we get in the car. He drives like a bat out of hell all the way to Novi Sad. I run inside as fast as I can. We got back here, no shit, from Belgrade to Novi Sad in 25 minutes, if that tells you anything. And that's a tough feat, honestly. We get here, I get my passport, I run back, get in the car. He found a path that we could go to, through Frusca Gora and stuff. We were driving up Frusca Gora, opa. You know, it's, it's uh, the curvy roads, he's passing, the, I mean, it was, I mean, it was funny. But we get to the station, the Alien Republic of Serbs, to make a long story short, we get there, and we were like 20 minutes late. This, they have a crowd, uh, a, an audience in there. The audience had been waiting for 20-some minutes. We run in there, they film one episode, they pre-record it, so it's two weeks in advance, so we had enough time anyway. But people had to wait on us. And we get on the show. The show was good, but you know, there was another young man I just met. I hate this kind of tuna. There's this other young man, his name is John, uh, Kako Sezove. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me because I can't even remember his name. It's J John Antonio, oh my god. Brate moi, I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name. Just met him, a wonderful human being, he's on my Facebook page, but I'm too lazy to go in there and get it. Um, a real nice guy. He's from France. He studies in Austria. He learned Serbian language perfectly. So it was me. Boris's show this time was about foreigners living in Serbia because Boris does a lot of things about uh, political type things. 
Uh, and he's concerned about the youth here, so he wanted to do something like that. So he had me as an American living here who doesn't speak Serbian language, Tiago, the Brazilian who does, and this wonderful guy from France that does too. We're, we're all good friends now. It was great. We had a good time, but I was the only one that didn't speak English. So during the talk show, we were there for an hour and a half. It's an hour and a half show, so you're going to like it. He asked me questions in English. He asked them in Serbian. So the whole time they're speaking Serbian, I'm looking at it going, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but I understood most of it. Honestly, I did. Uh, and then I made it a, a pledge to Boris. He said he's going to have me on again next year at the same time. And I told him, I said, if, when you do, I will speak Serbian and you won't have to speak English to me. So that, he said he's going to record that and he's going to hold me to that. And he's going to ruin my image if I, if I don't do that. <laughs> so I've got to learn Serbian now. So it's business time, baby. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, during the show, it was great. I, I think I did well. Uh, I, I, I do pretty decent. They put makeup on me, if you can see. Maybe I look a little sexier. I think I understand why women wear makeup. And I think I look better, you know. If I could wear makeup every day, you wouldn't think I was an ugly piece of shit like I am. Uh, so you ladies, uh, you've got it made. Uh, anyway, what's my point? Oh, during the thing, I think I did okay, uh, but a couple things I mentioned maybe would be considered politically insensitive uh, because I mentioned a little bit about the corruption issues here, and I didn't want to do that, but I did anyway. Uh, so I talked about some things like that. I think Tiago did an amazing job, and so did the other fine gentlemen. Uh, so we had a wonderful time. I rode back with the French guy and the Brazilian guy, and he drove like a bat out of hell, too. So we got back here really quick. It was funny. We get to the Serbian side of the border, you know, coming back through Bosnia. And uh, the, the she, Serbian lady, she's kind of pretty, a pretty border patrol guy. He hands her a Brazilian passport, a French passport, an American passport, and he's driving an Austrian car uh, with Austrian uh, plates on it. And he gives her a lot of stuff, and she's looking through it, and she's like, this. And then at the end, she said, what are you doing here? She asked Tiago, and then she asked me. She said, and, and what are you doing here? I said, I just love it here. And she smiled, and she gave us her stuff back, and we left. <laughs> but, uh, so I made some really good friends today. Uh, and Boris, one of the last things he did on the show, which I thought was so neat, he said, uh, Charles, do you have citizen Serbian citizenship yet? And I said, no. And so he looks at the camera, and uh, he said, in Serbian to the political leaders in, in Serbia because he said I know they're watching me he said I, I would you guys need to make Charles a citizen for what he's done here to Serbia either in Serbia or in Republika Srpska so who knows maybe one of them will man you never know he's a powerful voice in the Serbian community in the Serbian diaspora the diaspora love him you know I love him too he's a great guy anyway that's it my friends that's enough of me today just want to give you a quick update and let you know what's going on. I'm back here. I'm just wore out. Oh, and then I get and then I get to Belgrade. The young man drops me off the bus station, the French kid. So I get to the bus station, go ahead and get a bus ticket. Never ever has a bus been more than five minutes late here in Serbia. This bus was 20 minutes late. Then on the back of the bus, I'm sitting in the back of the bus, there weren't that many people. Then a horde of immigrants get on there. And I'm a nice person. I have a heart and I like uh, to speak to people that I don't know, you know? And I'm dressed nicely. And some of they came on here, oh my God, someone's smelling like absolute dupe, bre. And uh, then one of them, I, I was uh, talking on the phone and I heard I hear one of them uh, speaking something about me. And uh, then a few minutes later, he one of them taps me here and he pushes his phone in front of me. And it says in, in uh, a translation, it says, where are you from? And so I look around, I turn around, and I said, I'm from uh, the United States. And then there's a bunch, of, there was like 10 of them, and they're all Pakistani people. I said, where are you from? And they said, from Pakistan. I was like, Wah! But they were really nice. One of them had been walking for like eight months. That's what he told me. I don't know if his English was that bad. Another one was walking for two months. They walked all the way from Pakistan into Ira Iran and then into Turkey. And that's what he said. It took him that long. Catastrophe. But anyway, got back here. I just got back to Novi Sad now. It's about 11 o'clock at night. It's exactly 11.06. But anyway, I think you'll like this episode. It's going to be on in about two weeks. I'm going to show it to you later. Uh, I'll show you the episode. Uh, I'll upload the episode on here because Boris, I, don't, I know he won't care.
It's on B N. B N. It's a Bosnian station. Shows in the USA. It's actually on satellites on, in the USA. It's in 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 uh, da, 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 Australia. So that's it, my friends. I'll speak to you soon. I got a bunch of stuff to do. I gotta find something to eat. And God dang it, I don't want to eat tuna, man. <gasps> I've got leftover roast still that I didn't eat. God dang it, that's right. I got two pork chops left in there. That's it, my friends. Don't be genius, Viva.